Hey, honey bash. 27th of January, 2019. And I, I just had to jump on here quick and, and show you a couple things. Uh, we were just talking about the Rothschilds yesterday, right? And, and the Rockefellers are, are nothing less than the, the Western arm or the American arm, if you will, of the Rothschilds and the Illuminati. It, it's a real thing, people. What well, you can believe what you like, but it does matter to your eternal soul. All these things, I can't link this chart, but you can find it out there. Um, and, I see this protest, this die-in, and you you won't believe what these people call themselves. The this protest group they call themselves <laughs> the the Extinction Rebellion. I mean, think about that. It's they're it's the literal fact of what's happening, and they believe they're brainwashed into believing that you know they can turn the world around and save the climate from extinction. And they call themselves a rebellion of all things. And never do you see a mention from any of these people about this, which in my perspective is the number one ingredient in why the weather is so crazy. Because how can it not be when you're dumping trillions of tons of particulates into the atmosphere? What do you think is going to happen? But people will deny it. And, and that's the thing. It's, it's gotten to a point where things are so obvious that if you're denying it, then you're in big trouble. You're in worse trouble than you think. Okay. So I don't know what to say. It, it breaks my heart to people just don't understand that they're in a spiritual war. And these people work through that spirit. That's what drives them. That's what, that's what causes them to do the things they do. They serve the God of this world, the father of lies, the murderer from the beginning. It's just the way it is, okay? So they're at a die-in, nine of them, Rockefeller ice rink, which we could even get into that, Prometheus and all these things. It's crazy. The Extinction Rebellion, Rockefellers, Rothschild, same thing, weird stuff. But this one I wanted to show you, It'd probably get me censored, but whatever. Authorities are seeking a man in arson fire at Pizzagate Eatery. So they are bringing this out, you know, apparently some crackpot tried to burn the curtains down. And now they bring up the whole conspiracy theory thing again. Which, you know, they're just going to push everybody out who talks something different than the mainstream talking points. It's just the way it is. It's This is the world that is coming into manifestation. Okay, you gotta understand this stuff. Spiritual war is not something to toy with, alright? It's, uh, it's obvious. Oh, the District of Columbia. Uh, there's some stuff about Columbia that I've been seeing lately, too. But nonetheless, they bring this out again, and, and not once. Nobody likes looking at these things, right? But I haven't heard hide nor hair of anything happening to any of these people at all. In fact, they're probably living large, loving life, with a sharp knife cutting deeply into their middle fingers of their left hand and eating the pain and then going and doing things to little children that you can't even imagine. And on it goes, because this is the way it's supposed to go. Read your Bible and get to know Jesus Christ, because he's the only one that's going to save anybody from anything. That's just the way it is. But we continue on. We occupy and we call these people out. The devils that they are. So I had to share this stuff. I hope it makes sense. I really hope it blesses somebody. And uh, peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,